are you guys ready to follow along with us step by step and get artsy? Okay guys, we are going to go over a few supplies we're going to need to do this fun um, lion's mane jellyfish. Is that what we're doing, Jason? Yep. Okay. You want to show them what supplies we're going to need? Sure. So we're, need them, we're going to need some paint. We're going to need some paint brushes. Mm -hmm. Which and size? We need some what? We need a bigger one and we need some... Little ones. Uh-huh. And... We need a pencil. Mm hmm. And we need some water. And some paper. And we're going to need, if you have any sort of little lid, I got this from a glue stick, um, but marker lids will work too. But we're going to need a little lid. We're going to use this as a stamp later. Okay, are you guys ready to get started? Okay, for our first step, I'm going to clear this out of the way just a little bit. We are going to use our big brush and we're going to take our paper, our canvas, and we're going to dip our bigger brush in blue. We're just going to dip it in the blue and we're going to start here in the center and we're going to make a circle and we're just going to go around. So we're just going to make a circle from the center and we're just going to keep painting. Grab a little bit more paint. So you don't want a ton of paint on your canvas or your paper. When you get to a point where it looks like there's a ton of paint, you need to spread it out. So just keep on spreading it out in circles. But you also don't want to be like this, where you see a lot of white. You need to add more paint and smooth it in. Okay, so when it looks like I got these white corners here so I'm gonna do a little bit more blue in here but all I have is some white corners left I'm gonna add just a little bit of black because black goes a long way and I'm gonna start blending that in just a little bit of black to my blue so we're making a dark blue color here Still going with that circle look. I'm just doing a dark blue color. Okay, so we went ahead and let this backdrop or background dry, and then we're going to go ahead and add some. Um, of the jellyfish to it. So I'm going to go ahead and paint with my white paint and using my paintbrush on my paper. But if you guys want to draw yours out first so that you can, um, you know, kind of go over it if you make any mistakes, um, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, the white. And this, the reason I'm doing this and not going in first with a pencil is because you guys wouldn't be able to see it really well on the video. So I'm going to start out by making a big hill over on the left hand side of my painting. So we're starting out. So this is the mushroom top of our jellyfish. I'm just going to go in there like that. And then I'm going to make a curved line that connects these two lines together going up. And then I'm going to make another curved line here and here, kind of coming down. So those, this is kind of the top of our jellyfish, so you can see it. And then I'm going to just keep going with another line over the top and just make that a little bit thicker. So 
this is a, just a really good outline for our jellyfish to get started. And then from there, we're gonna do all of our tentacles coming down, but we're just gonna get started with the mushroom top of our jellyfish. Okay, so for our next step, we're gonna keep with the white and I'm using a small flat paintbrush and I'm just gonna kinda take splotches down where that opening was and make a long piece. So just keep on touching my paintbrush to the paper. I'm gonna do another one. So we're gonna make zigzaggy so it looks like it's moving. And you don't wanna ever make these the same exact size. And the next step, I'm going to go in with color on top of that. So I'm going to keep my white, and I'm going to go in with the yellow. And I'm just going to kind of go over some of these colors, still just kind of dabbing. And the next one's the same as well. I'm gonna add some color up in here on these skirt. I'm just gonna bring my paintbrush up and add some white and yellow. Makes like a nice neon-y color. Add the same over here. My jellyfish really comes to life. Then I'm gonna rinse my brush out and I'm gonna move to the next color. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of red in there, some white and red. I'm gonna go over in some spots. And some fun colors. Just kind of highlight that and highlight this. And I'm going to fill this spark in. Kind of getting an orangey color in here with the yellow and the red. Next, I'm going to go in with some purple. A little bit of purple in the brain or the mushroom part of my um, my jellyfish. I'm going to leave some of it where you can see through it, and then I'm going to add some purple in my splotches here. So those are fun. We're just gonna get real splotchy here in this center section. See how fun that is? And I'm gonna add a little bit of green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix my yellow and my blue, make a nice green color here. Add a little bit of green in there because green is, is fun. A little bit more yellow. Add some green. 
So just a really fun, colorful octopus, or sorry, jellyfish. <laughs> more spots. Okay, so that step is done and we're going to move on to the next step. So I'm going to grab a smaller paintbrush and it's more of a brown tip here and I'm going to grab some of the yellow here and I'm going to start making some fun tentacles coming from the side. So there we're just going to do swervies. Snakes all the way down. And we're just going to let them kind of fly off. So I'm going to do a few yellow ones. They're going to go over this area as well. I'm just going to pick a few colors for these. So it looks like these neon colors will look a little bit better. So I'm going to use um, the yellow and then some white and the orange color. So I'm going to mix the yellow and red and I'm going to do some more of them. right over there. It's kind of flying. It's really fun. And then I am just going to add white. And those really, the white really pops. I'm going to do some to the side here. And again, I'm not making them all the same size. Some of them are short. Some of them are long. but it really makes for a fun octopus here. And then I'm just gonna take that same white and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some highlights. So parts that we've kind of gone over with color, add some highlights inside the mushroom. Maybe add another little piece there. So it's really fun and see how it looks see through. Okay, so then the last step we're going to do is something really fun. We're just going to take the, t the, the cap that we're using. So just a small round cap and I'm just going to dip it in some white paint and I'm going to stamp it. So we're adding some bubbles. And if you have different size ones, that could be really cool. But this is all we had today. So this is what we're using. I'm just going to put some bubbles throughout my painting. You may want one or two, or you may want a whole bunch of bubbles. It's up to you. I'm going to do three up here to kind of fill this space. And then maybe one down here. And then I might put another one up here. And if you want to get really playful with your bubbles, you can take your paintbrush and add just a little bit of white paint to it and then just put a little bitty curved line here just to make it look really bubbly. And then you guys are done. So that's awesome.